right? So, what happened? So, um, we want to talk about Black Lives Matter protest. Let me f uh, f improve the camera. Yes. Black Lives Matter protest has many purposes. For example, we want to reduce the racism against black people, Muslims, and other minorities in America. We don't want them to be insulted and be, you know, what do you call it? You know, be victim of police violence or other type of violence. They are victim of systematic racism in America, meaning we have like, for example, profiling. The police profiles people and also federal government, FBI, and other intelligence agencies profile Muslims, African Americans, black Muslims, and other minorities. And then they decide about them based on the profiling. And they have a thought processes about them. And then they have also guidelines. For example, the guidelines dictate to them certain things and certain behaviors when they deal with a certain person. And this becomes part of the law of this nation. And the law of the United States of America includes racism in it as a form of institutional racism due to laws, regulations, and practices um, which are meant to, for law enforcement and security. But the people who designed them were not really good people. We cannot say America is a messianic force for good. Nor we can say it for its uh, of federal government or a state police or local police. The laws, regulations, and mental status and psyche they have created for themselves over times, over years, has been inherited by them over decades, years, and centuries of combined experience of many people who have been racist. But there have been movements to end slavery, like abolishism, abol abolition, uh, and racism, sorry. And also there have been movements to end segregation and end racism and end, end police violence. But these movements were short time and they were not as great and they were mostly defeated and lost. We only remember the major victories. We only remember our defeats. So many people have added racism upon racism upon racism upon racism to the system and has uh, infiltrated the laws, the regulations, the practices, the decision making, the minds, the culture, and has been inherited over years and decades and centuries by the police and federal government and the peoples. So how do we combat it? Combating it takes years and years and years of social education and other means which are near impossible when there is mind control and sociocultural algorithm which enforces the thought processes and this experience on the peoples by the sociocultural algorithms and their design which enforces these events even if you change the mind of people. Even after you fix, fix all the racism in U.S. and rest of Earth, there are algorithms which will be activated again in a decade or a century, turning the Earth again racist against Muslims and black people and other races. Now, we can make the black race also master race because there have been points in the history when black race or Muslims or Iranians were master race. And the time was when for black people, when Great Sahara, Sahara and Sahel region Africa between Libya, Egypt, uh, Algeria, and um, South Sudan, and you know, the area of Niger, Nigeria, Central Africa, was not deserts. It wasn't a desert at all, the Sahara region or Great Sahara Africa. But rather, it was lakes, marshes, and seas. And it was the most advanced civilization in the history of the Earth. They had most advanced technologies, wealth, and air and space superconductor industries and technologies we lost. America defeated them by nuclear bombs, wars, over years and decades and centuries. And then they, they dried the lakes, marshes, civilization and cosmopolitans of, of metropolitans and industries and advanced tech and old tech, which we must call postmodern tech of this era. And then they turned them to deserts. And then their civilization, their metropolitans were either destroyed or they were buried under sand with the winds and the shifting sands moving the location of the sand. And after America killed Niger King, Nigeria or the King of Black Peoples, which were so-called master race of theirs because we are not racist, but we're talking in the language of racist people.
After he died, the United States of America said Niger King or Negro King has fallen. Hold on, sorry. I